Whew, finally, my oil change is done. It's time to take this trip to the mall real quick. Let's hurry up and uh, get these new sneakers. Yes, I said it, new sneakers. Um, I'm finally done wearing the Kevin Durant's, you know. I decided my jumper looks great, it feels great. It's going in probably 95% of the time, so I really don't need the help of Kevin Durant with my jumper anymore. So I decided I want to get my dunk up. Um, I want to have the best package in the game, of course. I want to be able to dunk on people relentlessly without even thinking twice about driving. I just want to drive, get the yam, and go to the line for and one. So, with doing that, I had to actually talk to one person that I know that can do that the most. And of course, his name is LeBron James. I hit up LeBron and said, hey man, um, I need help on you know getting my dunk up and things like that. And he told me about his shoe. So he said, yeah man, my shoe is all that. It's totally customizable. We can have it shipped to you, you know, whenever you want it, overnight shipping, anything. So um, I'm on my way to the mall right now. I need this shoe. Just simple as that. So I'm going to get this shoe. And um, I, I hit up LeBron again and said, hey, yo, I got the shoes. And um, I want to test them out. He said, where at? I said, in Miami. He said, what? I said, yeah. The Wizards are out of Washington to take on their Eastern Conference rival in today's game. The NBA during the holiday season, what could be better? Okay, everyone, with my partner Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Great to have you with us. If you look at Miami, they've lost their last three games, and guys, they like that streak to end tonight here. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Alpha King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Finally, I got some new shoes on, guys. It's long awaited. I was wearing the Kevin Durant's for a while now, but let me just test out my J real quick just to make sure it's still there. I took the Kevin Durant's off and I feel so much lighter on my feet. I feel like I can just, you know, dunk on anybody, but the first thing I wanted to do was test out my jumper, make sure I still had it from mid-range and three-point range. So that means that my jumper is still on. I can still do everything that I need to do. And, you know, it's that easy. So let's let's get right into it. McGee, you already know what you got to do, man. Get to the rim. It's too easy, man. These guys can't stop you. As long as the ball is in my hands to yours, we're going to do this all night, bro. Real talk. Check out LeBron trying to steal the ball. He couldn't do anything. He was just sick to his stomach. <laughs> now, it's 9-0 right now, right? LeBron has been taking all of these wild shots. He's been forcing it. Um, I don't know why, but I'm loving it. That's all I got to say. As long as LeBron keeps forcing his shots, these guys aren't going to win any games. Real talk. Um, they, we lost against him the first time go around, but I feel as though we have the tools of the trade to actually beat them this time. Now, check out LeBron right here, man. He's still forcing it. Why are you forcing it, man? That's what happens. You get injured. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's exactly what you get. Oh, no, don't be sad. Don't be sad. He going now. It's a wrap. It's, it's time for us to take this game. Y'all star player is going. <laughs> but, yeah, man, um, it's 13 to 5. I just got to say one thing. Dwayne Wade is a monster. I'm going to just keep it 100 right now. As you can see, just through the oop, the bosh. But that's just the icing on the cake of what he was doing to my team tonight. It seemed like the AI said, as soon as LeBron went out, Dwayne Wade has to turn the burners on. And it seemed like my, my two guards just couldn't stop him. But, you know, check out him trying to get that easy steal on me. I keep telling these guys, my ball security is at a million, man. I gotta, you got to max out your ball security if you want to win games. Because when you're backing down, you're dribbling, you know, stupid glitches may happen. You might dribble a ball off someone's foot. Or, you know, you might be backing down and he just rip you. But you don't want that to happen. So get your ball security up, guys. Real talk. Now, check me out on the fast break dunk right there. I thought Dwayne Wade was going to block my shot. But, of course, I still got past him. But, God damn. Oh, man. Look at this. Now, I'm trailing on defense, mind you. 
He just dunked on two people. Look at this. Rashard got the most of it. <laughs> John Wall tried. He just pulled out the shack. Like, I don't know what's going on. I guess Dwayne Wade is feeling himself, man. But it is what it is. Now, check out Andre Blatch, man. You know who to pass it to. But check me out. I got something for that, Dwayne. What's up? What's up with your man, Batty? Can, can, can we get... Yeah, uh-huh. What's up? Yeah, I know. But it's all good, man. Um, I like going up against, you know, star players in 2K. Because I feel like, you know, it's a big challenge. Now, check out the hop step layup. That's that's too easy right there. Um, the hop step layup and the spin layup, they're still as cheesy as they were in 2K11. And I advise you in doing them. It's not hard to do these things at all, guys. All you need to do is hold L2 and move that trigger. The wing, and he knocks down the jumper. Don't go away. We'll see you in a moment. And welcome fans to HP at the half. We're well into the NBA season. Let's get things rolling. Miami up on top against Washington. A powerhouse team looking to retain their position atop the conference standings. D. Wade was phenomenal in the first half. His shooting percentage off the charts right now. He's got the magic touch in the field, no question about it. And a scrappy effort by Washington. They've limited the second chance buckets. They've been crashing the defensive glass, playing big on the defensive end. A nice contribution by Andre Blatch, giving them a lift. He has six points, and he's taking care of business on the defensive end of the floor, too. Not the closest game, but you got to hand it to both of these guys for setting the pace. We already got a few games gone. Final. Check them out from around the league. What the fuck? This dude had... Did you see how many points Dwayne Wade had? Are you serious? <laughs> look, I told you guys this game wasn't going to be easy, man. Dwayne Wade is look making my shooting guard look like trash right now. But since LeBron isn't in the game, I got to make his small forward look like trash. Just like right there, man. Now, check this out. When I shoot the ball, check out how McGee always cuts to the rim. I love that about McGee. He always wants an offensive rebound. He always wants a tip slam. This guy, yo, you know what? In 2K, it's like he's rated 99. I'm going to just keep it 100 with you guys. But check me out getting to the rim with a nice layup. I should have dunked it, but, you know, some animations that they give me just aren't great all the time. So it is what it is. Now, check out this nice play between me and Rashard Lewis. He finally did something for me, guys. He gave me an he gave himself an assist with me and Alley U. I like that. You know, I like that little bit of teamwork that me and him pulled out right there. You know, we haven't really shown that all season since we are both small fours and we battle for the position. But it is what it is. Now check out me and Richard a little bit more. You know, I tried to get a nice little pick and pick and roll going, but it didn't work. So I had to go with my my first option, Javel McGee. It's just too easy with this guy, man. Listen, he's in every single video. You guys are gonna see so many dunks from him that it's it's just unbearable, you know. Now I just got the steal, right? Stop playing with me. My ball security is at the max. What is wrong with these guys, man? Every time I post up, people don't want to see me get to the rim. But check out the alley -oop between me and Rashad. You know I had to pay him back. I had to pay this guy back. You know, an alley -oop for an alley -oop, guys. That's just how we doing it right now. Now, me, of course, my dunk didn't come out. You know, I had a stupid little layup. But Rashard, he flushed it. So, big ups to him for that. Now, we battled our asses off the comeback. It's 87 to 86. They still messing with me on the ball security tip. Stop trying to rip me. That's what's going to happen to you. I told you guys, once I put these LeBrons on, I was going to be dunking on people. Y'all thought I was lying. See, y'all don't be understanding, man. Y'all think I'm lying. Now, check out JaVale McGee getting to the rim. Now, when you pass it to a person and they don't have a clear lane to the rim, they usually kick it out. JaVale McGee saw that he needed to score. So that's all that. Now, we're at the end of the game, guys. There's one thing that pisses me off the most is being in a very close game, but being down in a very close game kills me. Now, I just wanted my team to pull out a nice defensive play. Now, check this out. JaVale McGee with the block. I'm on a fast break. Guess what I'm doing? I'm taking a jam. I'm taking it all away. We got to win this game. I didn't even want to see the replay. I wanted to get straight back on defense. We got to win this game, man. 
It's 26 seconds left. We're down three. This is the nail biter moment of every game that you play on NBA 2K12. You see me calling for double teams. I'm stressing right now. They're burning down the clock, but check it out. Defense wins games. What? That's right, Dwayne. Now, this is one thing that I almost broke my controller on. Check me out. Slightly early. I missed the shot. Oh, a nail biter. Now they're up three. Ten seconds left. Come on. You know you already know I'm taking the last shot, man. I'm not I'm not giving it to nobody else. Why I give it to anybody else? Now check this out. This guy wanted to play back on me. Guess what happens? You get hit over top of your head, but T. That's what happens. Now it's 101. We going into overtime. You already know they're not getting off a shot. If they get off a shot, I'm breaking everything. I'm breaking my computer. I'm breaking my TV. I'm breaking my PS3. I'm breaking everything. Real talk. <laughs> and. Oh, no good there. The potential game winner off the mark. Regulation is ended and we're heading to overtime. We've seen D-Way getting it done. He's got 48 points and check out his steal. Very active hand. But. All right, y'all. Let's get into overtime. You already know, man. This is IKC team right here, man. I need the ball in my hands. We got to win this game. Now, I decided, you know, to win the overtime, I had to use my team more. You know, passing it more, getting nice ball movement, and shooting great jump shots. You know, um, for some reason, the computer just wanted to lag off on me for some reason. But I love it. Now, JaVale McGee should have cut to the basket right there. So, you know me, I'm looking for another pick. Ah, uh, that messed me up. But check out Andre Blatch as he still cuts to the rim. He still had enough AI to say, I need to cut to the rim. We got to get points on the board. And I love that. Now, look at Batiste. His whole stance is changing. Everything. Check me out with the rebound. Ah, shooters roll. That's called hustle right there. You got to have that hustle to win games, man. It's 147 left on the clock. Now, look. Look how much we're up by. You know, um, for some reason, they want to foul and keep fouling. They couldn't come down on offense and actually do anything. Now, Chris Bosh, I don't know why he didn't take that shot. But what seems to kill me is, why is this team not taking quick shots? They're playing like they have all the time in the world to win the game like they're already winning. But it is what it is. Now, D-Wade got that score. You already know we're going to get this win. I want you guys to, you know, watch the uh, the press conference. You know, watch the player of the game. Uh, of course, this was a chase beat that you're going to be listening to right here. Um, and this is IKC signing out. I really don't have anything else to say. But peace. Really impressive game from you tonight. It seemed like you could do no wrong. What are your thoughts on the game and how you played? Things just seem to be clicking for me tonight. You know, sometimes you get into a groove and everything else just falls into place. I thought the team played really well overall, too. It wasn't just me, man. When we're all on the same page, it makes such a huge difference. And most importantly, we won the game.
But we expect to win when we play the way we know we're capable of.